Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about um, splitting your screen so that you can have two pieces of content up for once. Um, and this is very commonly used with Newline, where maybe you want to have one thing on the right side of your Newline board and one thing on the left side of the Newline board. So I've got three windows open here. I've got a Google Slide Deck that I'd like my students to see. I've got a Google Doc where I can take some notes for today. And I also have a whiteboard app open. This is the Microsoft um, Ink Workspace whiteboard, uh, which is built into Windows. And that's kind of a nice tool to use for this. Um, so here's the first thing I want to do is I'm going to show you that if you take this window right here and you grab it up here in the toolbar and you bump it against the right hand side, when you bump it, watch what happens on the right. You kind of get that little uh, reverberation uh, ripple that comes out, and then you'll see that it's automatically trying to size itself to be one half of the screen. Um, so if I bump here and I let go, it will take up exactly the right half of the screen. And then I could just drag this thing back and move it over here, or I could take it and I could bump it off here to the left-hand side, and then it would take up exactly the left-hand side of the screen. So we'll circle back to that in a second, because I want to show you there's one little problem. If I do this, my slide deck's not exactly in presentation mode right now. And if I were to go to slideshow, it then takes up the entire screen. And that's not what I want. So instead, I'm going to show you a little URL customization trick you can use. Um, up here, if you take a look at the long URL bar here at the top, and we kind of scroll over, you'll see this part where it says slash edit. And then there's a bunch of additional information after that, like edit, slide, ID, blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to highlight from the word edit over to the right. And we're just going to backspace on that. We're going to delete that. So I'm going to leave this um, presentation ID here. I'm going to leave that slash. And where it used to say slash edit, I'm going to change it to say slash preview instead. Oh, so when you change it to preview and you press enter, watch what happens. Now you basically get your slide deck, but instead of taking over the entire screen, it fits within this browser window right now. So that's kind of the ideal setup if you want to uh, present on just one half of the board instead of taking over the full screen. Set this to a preview of your slide deck and then come over here and bump it to the right hand side. And now you've got your slide deck taking up just the right hand side of the board and you can tab through and you basically now have all of your slides here. So what, as a teacher, what might we want to do with the left-hand side of the screen? Well, over here, maybe we want to have a Google Doc up, or maybe we have another website up. Maybe we've got um, some curriculum resources up. And so we're going to kind of go side by side. Um, I set, let me do this again. I'm going to take this slide deck again, grab this window, bump it against the right. It now takes up exactly half the right. I'm now going to take this Google Doc, click that one time and that now fills up the left-hand side, and these two things are gonna be side-by-side side with each other, which is really nice. Also, if you look at this and you go, you know what, I don't need the Google Doc to take up that much space. If you go right over here to the middle, you'll see that little gray bar that pops up between the two, and then you get the arrows that point left and right. You can actually use this to kind of like slide it over, and then you can resize like what proportion of your screen each of these things take up. So you can kind of customize that. I like generally going with 50% uh, is kind of my my baseline for that. So um, you can resize that however you'd like. Again, 50% might be kind of a good ratio here. The other thing that you might want to do is have slides on one side and a whiteboard on the left. And this is where um, you might run into some challenges because the built-in Android whiteboard on your new line is that layer on top of everything rather than a window that can be side by side. So for this, I'm just going to use a different whiteboard tool. And you could use, there's a lot out there, you could use like Google's Jamboard for this and put it in its own window. I like to use this Microsoft whiteboard because it's built directly into Windows. And you can access that down here in the bottom right. I've got this little button for Windows Ink Workspace. If I click that button, it launches. Do you want to do a full screen snip or do you want to launch a whiteboard? So that's a good one to click. If you don't see this little pin icon, remember you can always right click down here in your toolbar and then you can go up and turn that on. Show Windows Ink Workspace button. Um, I have that enabled and that's why the little white space icon shows up. So now what I'm going to do is take this window, bump it against the left hand side, and now I've got split screen between my slide deck, which maybe has my lesson for today or some materials in a web browser, and then on the right hand side I've got uh, all these pen tools and I can go ahead and annotate and draw and write notes over here. So it's kind of a nice way to be able to do split screen either on your uh, teacher laptop or desktop or on your new line board.